there is still more interesting things to come but who discovered these cells cells were discovered by robert hook in 1665 he observed slices of cork under a self de- self designed microscope cork is a part of the bark of a tree it is the outer protective layer of the trunk what did he do with the cork he took thin slices of cork and observed them under a microscope he noticed partition boxes or compartments in the cork slice these boxes appeared like a honeycomb then he also noticed that one box was separated from the other by a wall or partition thus who coined the term cell for each box why cell in latin cell means small room what else did he notice Hook also noticed that the compartments were empty and the cells of the cork were dead without any content. Okay, every living thing may be different from one another but is made up of these separate tiny units called cells. Wow! So tiny things performing such complex functions. Yes, dear. We'll begin by cutting it into two halves. Peel off the thin layer using forceps. Spread the thin peel on the glass light. Put a drop of water on it. Add a drop of iodine solution to it. Place a cover slip on it. Tap gently with a needle on the cover slip to remove air bubbles. Place the slide on the stage of the microscope small chamber like structures called cells can be observed each cell contains prominent vacuole nucleus and cytoplasm we shall look at an animal cell now let's begin with an ice cream spoon Scrape the inside of your cheek using the spoon. Spread the collected saliva in a drop of water on a glass slide. Add a drop of methylene blue. Place a cover slip on it. Now, let's observe the cells under the microscope. You can see that these are irregular in shape as they do not contain the cell walls. They also have a nucleus and small vacuoles to store their nutrients and collect their waste products. 